So welcome back to another tutorial as brought to you by the Learn It channel. Today's tutorial, we're going to be addressing a user's request. He says this, I'm attempting to replicate this instrument cluster. The flat face is no issue. However, the outer curve is apparently beyond my grasp. The angle to the face changes as well as it's having a curve. I'm open to any ideas of how to create this. So this is a fun project and I'd like to stress that we are going to be going into surface modeling. Don't be afraid of surface modeling. Once you get it, you get it. It's, it's fun to work with. But uh, let's talk about some skills along the way that can make this instrument cluster, this dashboard, uh, work out really well. So just as a, a little hint, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our file here and we're going to upload. We can drag and drop some files. Now I've got uh, some renders that I've created. I'm just gonna drag and drop these, dashboard, front, ISO, and top, high quality. And because we've opened up our location over here, uh, it's going to upload those files right to that same location. So let's upload it because we're going to use uh, canvas images or we're gonna use these images for our canvas. So we could either upload them as we need them, or we can put them right into our folder, right into our project, which I like as well. So let's uh, create ourselves a new design, and then we can insert. When we insert a canvas, it will say, okay, well, what do you wanna insert? And there they are right in our folder, right in our project folder that we uh, uploaded them to. So I'm going to, let's do the top first of all. We're gonna go insert, put it on this, plane our xy plane now this is a really cool thing i've talked about this with other tutorials but we can go to canvases right click and calibrate and let's say that we know the width of our instrument cluster right here and it's going to be 36 inches let's just do that let's assume that's what it is and there we have it so right when we uh, put in this canvas, we can start drawing, we can start putting in, especially if we don't know the actual dimensions, we can start sketching right away. So let's do that. I'm going to create a sketch on the X, Y, and let's just do half of it. And what we could actually do, let's just finish our sketch. I'm going to edit the canvas and turn on our origin. And what I'd like to do is just move this canvas maybe to right there. So I would like my Y axis in this instance to be my mirror line. And remember, if we can mirror as much as we can, um, this can really help to save some time. So let's go back to our sketch and we can start sketching. So let's just do approximate locations. This is, I'm not going to spend a lot of time with this because, uh, well, we, um, you know, we don't know exactly what the dimensions are of the user. So I'm just going to go like this. Let's throw in some constraints. I want this line to definitely be vertical. There we go. I'm going to move this over and approximate this approximately the right location. Now, if this is snapping to your grid, just hold down command. You can see down here on the bottom left command or control on a, com a Windows computer and that won't snap it. So that's kind of a little a little tidbit there, a little hint. There we go. I'm going to throw these into the right location approximately. There we go. Now I'd like these two lines to be parallel as well. All right, so we get the point. We can now go into our fillet, hit the corner. We don't have to pick two lines. We can just hit that corner, bring it on over. All right, let's finish our sketch. Now, I could, I guess I could put in those, uh, the actual uh, spots for the, uh, the, the instruments, but let's just do solid, solid modeling. I don't want this tutorial to go on forever. Um, let's say that this is going to be a quarter inch thickness. There we go. And now what we can do is hide our canvas right there. Okay, so we've got this section of our uh, of our dashboard, our instrument cluster. So at this point, what we could probably do, and this is what we're familiar with, especially if we don't know how to work with surface modeling too much. What we could do is take this profile and in order to make it so that we don't select the whole chain we can deselect chain we can pick one two three let's pick our wall thickness here now i'm showing you not the way the way to not do it i should say let's go over to i don't know 200 000, something like that we can finish our sketch 
and we could extrude this profile. Now, this is okay, we're, we're getting there slowly, but I, I'd like to show you why this is not the route that we wanna choose. So if we go to a sketch right now, let's do it on our XZ plane, and let's sketch the profile. We could also import a, a canvas right now and trace the canvas as well. We could do that, but I'm just gonna save some time. Let's um, let's go like this. We're gonna press P for project, and what we'd like to do is project this geometry. I wanna project that line. And you can see as soon as I do, we've got this purple line right there. And I want to make sure that I can project or find, I'm just gonna pick that entire face right there. There we go. So again, I'm just showing you why we don't want to use solid modeling in this instance. So let's go back to our sketch story. We're gonna to go to our spline. Let's just pick this point and we actually wanna pick uh, this point over there. So let's just create a an intersection right there. Okay, let's move this on over. We're gonna pick those two points with our spline. Oh, let's press escape by mistake. I'm gonna press the check mark. Now what we wanna do is uh, move these control handles. I'm going to select that and constrain it. And we're going to make it horizontal. And then this guy as well, I'd like to just adjust it so that it's approximately the shape. And again, you can, if we have a canvas right there, we can just move these handles so that it can conform to the shape of our, of our canvas. So there we go, finish. Now we've got this as a profile that we can pick. Actually, we need to close it off first. How can we close it off? Let's just project. Let's just press P and project this as well. Now this will be a closed profile. Okay, so let's see what happens when I extrude this and I go this way. We can go to intersect and keep the intersection. So a couple things here, it deletes the bottom body. So before we do that, let's just break our bodies apart. And maybe instead of doing that, we can just go a new body. There we go. So this is a completely different body than the bottom. So what, what I've just done there is I've made it, instead of joining, I just went back in time and I said I want a new body in the back. Okay, so anyways, let's keep on going. Now we're going to extrude this profile again. Let's cut that out. We're going to go intersect and it's going to keep that profile. So this looks all right. There's a couple different issues with it. Um, first of all, what I think is probably the main issue is you can see as it as it comes down, as this profile comes down to the bottom, we've got this really sharp angle right here. And that's not what our dashboard looks like. It doesn't have a, a sharp edge right there. And of course, we could put a, a fillet on there, but we want this to be 90 degrees. We want it to be perpendicular to each other. And this is the limits with our our th you know, our s solid modeling. So let's just go back in time a little bit. We're gonna go all the way back. We're gonna delete those. Oh, let's go shift. Once we pick one, we can go shift and pick them all. Now, we're back at this point. This is great. We've done a sketch. We're not gonna keep that sketch. We don't wanna keep that offset. I'm gonna delete that as well. Let's create another sketch on our surface. Remember, as we create a sketch on a surface, it inherits all that geometry. I can hide the body and there's all the geometry on the sketch. It looks great. Now I just noticed something, this line right here, I want it horizontal or collinear with that line. So let's just finish our sketch. Let's go back in time. And I'm just gonna say, I want this line to be collinear with that. There we go. Now that makes a little bit more sense. Anyways. Okay, so now we're back here. Because I have created a sketch on this profile, it's inherited the geometry. Now I can use that geometry in our surface modeling tab. So let's go there and let's go extrude. It picks the entire out outer profile. And you can see that as I go up, it extrudes a surface body. This surface body has no volume. It's just something that we can work with, but we don't want it to pick the entire chain. So we're gonna exit out of that. We're gonna take off chaining and we wanna just pick these back three 
surf or these these uh, lines right there those those uh, those profiles okay let's go okay now what we're going to do is we're going to create a sketch let's do the exact same thing i'm going to create it on this plane and i'm going to make a mistake here so hang hang tight we want this corner to be projected. We want to be able to work with this corner. So P for project, make sure entities or the specific entities is selected. We want to pick that and we want to pick this corner as well. Now we can create our spline in between this projected point and there. So let's do the exact same thing. We're going to pick those two points. Let's go back to our, our front view here. We're going to make this control rod horizontal. And remember, we're doing this so that this is going to be a tangent connection to our mirrored image. If it was on an angle, um, then it wouldn't be tangent. There would be a, a point right there, which um, is pointless. No, <laughs> it would just look really bad. So anyways, I'm going to move that. Let's go finish sketch. And here we have it. Let's go to extrude again. It picks the last profile that we've created in our timeline and we're going to go boom, just like that. And now we've got this extrude. Again, these don't exist in real life. They're, they're, they have no volume. They are just surface bodies, but we can work with them. So let's go OK. Now we need to split this body with this surface body. So how do we do it? Let's go to modify and we're going to go to split body. So bodies to split. We're going to pick that one, tools, this one, and let's go extend splitting tool. Let's go OK. Now you can see we've got this body, that body, and that body. So which body do we not want? Body five. And in fact, we can just hide it at this point. That's OK, too. OK, very good. So now we've got the shape of our the the, the vertical part of our uh, dashboard or instrument cluster. Now this is really cool. Let's go to create and go to thicken we're going to grab this and we're going to pull it back and we're going to thicken this to 0.1 or whatever we need so you can see here instead of that sharp edge we've got this nice perpendicular edge and wherever we are on that profile as we go up here on this profile by the way i'm using a 3d connection space mouse uh, Enterprise Edition, if you're interested, uh, just check the link in the description. And this is how easy it is to move this around. Anyways, you can see that we've got these perpendicular edges all the way down. And that's the benefit of working with surface modeling. Now we've got one little problem down here is this edge. And if we go back to our real dash, you can see that there's this cutout right there or there's this little relief. So how do we do that? Well, let's just go back in time and we could, you know what? It's, it's a little bit hard to do at, at this point, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the steps that we just did just to show you what we can do here. We're going to delete that as well. We're going to delete. Oh, we want this. Yeah, we want that. But what we want to do now is when we extrude this profile up in our surface tab oh what do we have here yeah that's it as we go to our extrude here and take off chaining uh, why can't i pick that now okay let's just delete this one more time we're going to create another sketch on that profile just finish it and now we should be able to extrude there we go there we go Excellent. One, two, three. Let's pull this up to whatever distance we need to go. I'm just going to go to five inches for the fun of it. Now, what we could also do is go to construct offset plane and we're going to pick our X, Z. And this is going to match up with where the the end of this is going to be located. So let's just assume it's it's half an inch in this instance. And right now we can do the exact same thing. We can go to split body. We're going to pick this body. The splitting tool is going to be this new plane. And look at that. Now we have this extra body that we can hide. We can do the exact same thing. Let's create a sketch and we got to pick that same plane that we've just created. Press P for project. Pick that top corner. Pick this bottom corner. Okay. Create our spline in between. 
now what we've just done is we have created uh, a plane that's inset from our front face over here and uh, that way it will create that little relief that we can work with so now you can see our sketch is inset we'll do the exact same thing we will extrude that profile we'll go okay modify split body one splitting tool is going to be that okay now we've got this body that we can hide we've got this body we can hide now we've got this beautiful curved surface here with a, a little inset we can go to our thicken grab that it's automatically moving over to point one now what we can do is put in we can go back to our solid tab we can go to our fillet command and we can add our fillets here so let's do this we're going to say oh you can see we haven't connected our bodies actually yeah it's, it doesn't recognize it so we have to go to combine let's combine those two now when we do our fillet ah beautiful so let's just make that pretty big fillet we can grab that edge as well and we can add a selection set let's do that and pick one two three four five six and this is going to have a smaller oh you know what it's really small right there so i'm going to go back in time and our thicken is going to be a little bit more i'm going to go minus 0.2 yeah let's do that now i can add these uh big bigger fillets right here oh that's too big there we go 0.3 why not let's do a selection set over here and add a smaller fillet and here we can just let's call it 0 0.05 ah uh, there we go we can even go a little bit more uh, why not oh 0 0.1 does that work no nope. 0.075 perfect and now you can see because we've done it under the same fillet tool this will create a very beautiful blend with all of them together boom let's go okay let's go to mirror we're going to pick our body our mirror plane right there make sure join is our operation and would you know it we've got this beautiful instrument cluster if you've benefited from this tutorial like and subscribe please we would love it consider becoming a member tune in for more tutorials and keep learning with the learn it channel